Namaste and welcome to day 21 of 30 days of AppRite. Today we are going to look at the AppRite's Avatars API. It's one of the unique API that AppRite provides. The Avatars API primarily allows us to generate icons and avatars for a variety of use cases. As you can see, I'm at the official documentation avatars docs. And if we look at the list of services, we can get credit card icon, browser icon, country flag, get a emails from URL, get fav icon, get QR code, as well as get user initials. So let's look at each of the function credit card icon. This will return the icon of a credit card provider. We could pass in the code of the credit card provider. So only required parameter is the code of the credit card provider. Let me go to the flutter example. So we can call avatars dot get credit card and code will be MX and we can display the resulting image using the future builder. We can get the browser icon by passing the browser code. Next, we can get a country flag by passing the country code. For example, if you want a cool flag displayed in your user's profile by his country, we could do that. So let's try to get user's flag by their country code in our profile. So let me go to our app. First, let us go to our API service and then initialize the avatars service avatars and then initialize it finally we can use this to get the country flag so here let me return again you int at list we need a country code get flag and we pass the code sync so we have a function to get the country flag and now we could ask the user to enter their country name country code country name and save it in save it in the users preferences right now i'll just hard code the country code in order to display the flag let's copy this Let's paste it here and instead of profile picture, get country flag and code will be for me. It's NP. If a snapshot that has data or I could simply return has data image dot memory data. You int a list contain. Otherwise, I'll simply return a empty sized box. Now, if I save, okay. Let's give it a width of 100. If it snaps out that has error, print. Print the snaps out that error. Okay, avatar has not been initialized. Oh, I need to hot restart because I just initialized the avatar service. So let me hot restart, go to profile. 
Now it should load the country flag. Let me reduce this. Center this US. Now we have the US flag. This is how we can display the users flag using the avatars API. Now let us look at some other methods. So get image from URL. We could use this endpoint to get image from a external URL and display it in our application by providing proper width and height so that AppRite will get the image, crop it in appropriate size and send it to our application. As well as if we do not want to use insecure third party images, we could use this to serve third party images through our own TLS protocol. Next, get fav icon. This is the browser icon that we can get. This is especially useful for web and then get a QR code. So QR code is very popular sharing information and AppRite easily generates QR code for any custom text. So let's see this in action again. API service, let us add a method to get QR code. Let me just duplicate this. Text. Get QR and return data. Now we can display the QR code. Similarly, as we are displaying the country flag, just duplicate this. Get QR and let's display the user ID. User dot ID. Now if I save, now I can get the QR code and for QR code, we can also provide the size. So we can provide here size. This will be the width and height of the QR code. So let's provide 500. See default is 400. So let's add 800. This will generate the QR code image in appropriate size that we require for our application. And we could do that in real time based on the need of our application. Next, we have get user initials. So this will provide a avatar icon for a user from their name. This will provide a avatar icon for your user from their name. So initially, if they don't have a profile picture, what we could do is we could use this to generate a profile picture from initials. Let's see how it looks. So let me add another function here. get initials name get initials so i need to pass the name let's see it in action here again i will duplicate this this time get initials let me just keep my name and let's save. This should load a avatar. See, proper avatar for any name. If I change the name, it should update properly. The uprights avatar endpoint is very slick and very useful for making your application look beautiful and provide usable functionality for your users. This is all for today's episode. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode.